In this video, you're going to learn how to set up lab fulfillment in Sprout Studio. Lab fulfillment basically means that you can integrate with one of the labs that Sprout Studio integrates with, and then you can set it up so that when your client orders prints from a gallery, they automatically go to the lab for the lab to fulfill, and then the lab can even ship them to your client, and you don't necessarily have to be involved in the process at all. Now, there's a lot of assumptions made in that relationship there. You can install sort of pause points, so if you don't want it to be automated, you could still have manual intervention. If you don't want it to go to your client, but drop ship to you, and then you can touch base with your client and deliver them personally, you can. There's a lot of control that you have over how all of this works, but the gist is that lab integration basically means that you can connect Sprout Studio and your Sprout Studio gallery with a lab. So let's walk through how to do that now. The first thing that we're gonna do is set up lab fulfillment on the price list side. That's the first thing that you have to do. So we're gonna go into settings and we're going to go ahead and open up the price list. On the left-hand side, you see a lab fulfillment section. If I click that and open it up, you can see currently it's off. And if I go to add a new type of print here, you can see that I cannot click the lab print section here and that's because I have it turned off. So what you have to do is click the on button first and then specify which lab you'd like to integrate with. I'm gonna go ahead and choose White House Custom Color. At the time of recording this video, that's the only lab that we integrate with in the US. So we're gonna go ahead and choose that and run through. Now, from here, we basically can just walk through. Step one was choosing the lab. Step two was deciding how much control you wanna have. Step three is deciding where your orders go. And step four is adding any extras from the lab. So we're just gonna walk through those steps one at a time. The first step here, or I guess arguably the, the second step, is how much control do you wanna have? So do you want to manually intervene so that when your clients make an order in a gallery, you then have control to hop in and adjust things? Do you want to have it so that it automatically just goes to the lab without you ever seeing it? Or do you wanna have it automatic but with a delay so that you have a chance to step in and review it and make adjustments if you have to? My personal recommendation is to go with the manual step. And there's a reason for that. And I'm just gonna sort of flip back over to the camera here and talk a little bit about this. From an educator standpoint, my advice is to go manual. And that's because, in my opinion, it doesn't make any sense for you as a photographer to retouch all of your files in a gallery. If you're a wedding photographer, why would you retouch a thousand photos. If you're a portrait photographer, why would you retouch a hundred photos? If you're a newborn photographer, why would you want to retouch, you know, potentially 30 or 40 or 50 photos? Why retouch every single one as if it's going to be ordered as a print when your client may only order a few prints? And so my recommendation in the business practice that I've always followed as a photographer for 15 years is to proof my images. So they still look great. I still do the work on the images in Lightroom or whatever that I do but then I'll give a little bit of extra TLC to those images that my clients order prints of. That's when I can hop in and do the retouching, can fix stray hairs, I can do small blemish fixes, so on and so forth. I can do the fine tuning of the images that I know my clients are gonna be ordering prints of. Whereas if I try and do that ahead of time, that's a lot of time that I'm wasting on 98% of the images that the client will never order prints of. So that's just like a quick little, uh, I'll take my educator hat back off and, and put the, the Sprout Studio hat back on. Um, again, the option is here for you if you want to have automatic fulfillment. Against my advice, you're certainly welcome to do that. Uh, or maybe there's other business cases or business models that might uh, make more sense for that. Um, but my recommendation, and what I'm gonna do in this video is to use manual fulfillment, basically meaning, or I'm sorry, not manual fulfillment, but manual control so that at least I can go through and review them and then approve them. The next step down here is saying, where do you want orders to go? So when your client orders the prints, do you want to drop ship them directly to them? Or do you want to ship them to you and to your studio and then you can coordinate with your client um, getting those images? So whichever option makes more sense for you. If you click drop ship to me, then you can go ahead and choose which shipping method you're wanting to use with the lab. Every lab will have different options. So the, the proper ones based on your address will be presented here. Other option is again to drop ship to the client. And the option here basically says um, for, now basically the client will be able to choose what the shipping is and they'll pay for the shipping. 
Um, but you can specify here for combined shipping. And if you read this little blurb here, kind of makes a little bit more sense. Your clients can order a combination of lab fulfilled prints and self fulfilled prints. So if your clients order one print that's from the lab and one print that you're printing yourself, maybe you have all small prints go to the lab and all large prints go to you. However, you set up your business model there. Sprout needs to know if we have to combine the shipping. We don't want to show the client hey, this is the shipping for the lab prints and this is the shipping for the self prints. So we wanna show the client, your client, one shipping charge. So you can basically specify here, in the case that there's combined shipping where there's both a lab print and a self print, which option should be used to calculate shipping for the self print? So you can specify that right here or just choose none if you're not interested in having that. Um, and then you can also say, do you wanna charge tax on the shipping? Yes or no. So I'm gonna go ahead and click yes on that. And we are good to go. Other option here is there's any extra from the lab. In this case, White House has some premium packaging that you can choose. I'm going to leave those all off. And with that, I now have lab integration turned on in this price list. I'm going to go up here and click add new, and I'm going to click lab print. At the time of this recording, these are the two lab prints that we currently offer integrated with uh, White House Custom Color. So I'm gonna go ahead and click Photo Prints and add that into my price list. And you can tell that it's a lab print because it says the lab name right here. Now, one of the things that I wanna just sort of outline and walk through here is by default, we've added all of the options in here for White House. And with that, we've added all of the sizes and all of the paper types in here. And that's because different photographers want to offer different options. Um, that doesn't mean that you necessarily have to offer everything to your clients. So we're gonna walk through sort of like eliminating that or slimming that down a tiny little bit right now. I'm going to click the print sizes right here, and I'm just gonna turn off the ones that I'm not interested in offering to my clients. Okay, there we go. So I've simplified the sizes a fair bit. I'm gonna close that down and open up the options and do the same thing. I don't wanna offer all these options for my prints. I'm just gonna offer luster as the only option. And so there we go. So now you can see here, as I open that up, there's only one price for all of them. Now by default, the price here is set to $0. So I'm gonna to wanna to use the pricing assistant. And we did a whole video on using this earlier, but I'm just gonna set this up really quickly and use the pricing assistant to calculate prices for those. And I'm good to go, I'm happy with those, perfect. Um, last thing I wanna just illustrate is we do set up Visualizer for you uh, based on uh, what we've already configured on the lab side of things. So you should be good to go here. Of course, you're welcome to adjust that if you'd like to. But that's basically how you now add the photo prints um, item here from White House. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna name this really quickly, White House Custom Color Photo Prints. That way, as we're on the front end, um, just for the purposes of this video, I can distinguish what the difference is between a photo print and the White House photo print right here. So let's go ahead and click save and close to save this price list and get on out. And we're going to go into the gallery now. Okay, so now for this gallery right here, I'm just gonna quickly confirm if I go into settings, I'm gonna make sure that that price list is chosen. So I'm gonna click selling and it is, there's my price list. So we are good to go, I'm gonna close that. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up this gallery and we're gonna walk through what your client sees and then we're gonna walk through what you see in terms of uh, going ahead and, and doing lab integration here for orders. So we're gonna click open gallery and then view all photos. Let's go on down to some of the portraits and order a print of that. Okay, let's grab this one right here. I love that image. So let's click the order button right here. Now this shows all those options again. We have photo print, fine art, frame print, canvas, and there's that one that we made there for the White House custom color photo prints. So I'm going to click on that and I'm gonna go ahead and choose a paper type and now we're good to go. Now again, this is where I can choose only from those options and those sizes that I had specified in the price list. So let's maybe just keep it as a four by six and we have luster. Again, I can read all this. This is all automatically added from the White House um, um, print type here, but of course you can customize it in your own price list. But I'm gonna go ahead and click add to cart on that one and I'm gonna click keep shopping. And let's kind of go through. Maybe I'll add another one of these. Add that one. I'm gonna do the same thing, go into here, click photo prints, click luster. Maybe I'll make this one a five by seven. 
You can see here that the client can rotate it as well if they'd like to. And then of course they can adjust the crop here if they'd like to. They're not able to zoom in and out. We talked about that in a previous video, um, but they can readjust and reposition the crop there. Let's click that and we're gonna click add to cart. So there we go, there's add to cart. I'm gonna close out of here and I'm gonna open up my cart here and I'm going to click finalize my order. Now this here is the cart for your client. They're about to check out. They can review what they have here. They can change the quantity. They can also add notes here for these items for notes for you. Can you please retouch my hairs? And this one, let's say, can you please get rid of the sign in the background? I don't think there's actually a sign in the background, but we're gonna ignore that one for now. <laughs> let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and check out of this order here. You can see here, this is now presenting the shipping option to the client. Um, if I go on back into the back end here of Sprout really quickly just to refer and open up this over here, we had it set up to drop ship to the client, which means that it's going to let the client choose what shipping option they wanna go with. Uh, here in Canada from White House, I only have one shipping option, so it's the only one to choose. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue with that. Now this is where they can choose how to pay you. And again, if we go back over here into our gallery settings, we can just quickly review the payment methods that we made available for our clients. So those three options are gonna show up there, which is why they're showing up right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and say check. These are now the instructions that come up. I'm gonna go ahead and press finish. And that is basically it. I have now made an order um, as a client in this gallery using those prints as um, lab fulfilled prints. And now I can see a copy of my invoice here. If I go back into the back end of Sprout here, you will have received a notification both in app here and an email notification. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that to review the order. And as you can see, the order lives under the shoot Heath and Olive Wedding. That's because this order was made on that gallery that's attached to that shoot and everything is all here and set up and ready to go. By default, whenever there's an order made from a gallery, you always have this option to copy all the file names from it. If you want to go ahead and um, edit those in Lightroom or just grab copies of those, you can. You can also do the same thing for digitals if there are any digitals that are ordered. Um, but otherwise, that's that's always there just to give you quick access to those items. Otherwise, now as we're working with lab integrated items or lab fulfilled items, we're gonna go ahead and review these things individually. So if I open up my little sidebar here for lab prints, which only shows up if you have lab prints, you can see sort of this workflow of what's happening. And you can see right here that it's being shipped to the client. That's the address that the client has spe had specified and um, everything is good to go there. Of course, if you wanna switch that and say, hey, you know what, actually I wanna ship that to me, you can always override it, but it's gonna be set up to whatever you had set up in that price list by default. This is where manual intervention I think is really helpful because you can adjust and edit these things as you go. Now, before you can get this into an approved state, you have to basically review each one of these items. So you can see this little fulfillment tab, there's a review and there's a review here. So what you can do is you can open this up, you can remove the fulfillment, you can skip this one altogether, there's those notes that the client had left us there. There's the file name. If you want to copy just this one file name, you can. Otherwise, what you can do is you can click edit here. And this is where you can adjust the crop. This is how the client cropped it. You have the ability to zoom in or zoom out. Of course, just be careful of resolution. We do have warnings that if you crop it too tight, it will let you know that this might be a low resolution. So we do have some protection baked in for that. But also use some common sense in doing your cropping yourself here. Other option here is this replace button. Now this is where I was talking earlier about proofing your images and then only now retouching the files that you need to retouch. So let's say that you took this image, you did the retouching, you could now click replace to upload a new file, upload that retouched file and then crop that one. So you're only working with the retouched files and you're only having to do that work on the images that are the ones that you know the client has ordered prints of. I'm gonna go ahead and click save there and I'm going to click approve and then I'm gonna go down into the next one here and do the same thing. Just kind of review that, make sure that I'm good with the crop. This one is how the client had cropped it. I'm good with that, so I'm gonna press save. 
and I'm going to click approve. Great, and we're going to close this. And so now it's good to go. You can see here that the sidebar moved from to review down to approved. This is now going to let me add in additional packaging if I want to. Otherwise, I am good to go here. It already has FedEx shipped uh, or chosen because that's what the client had chosen. So I'm going to click calculate lab fees. Now what that does is goes and opens the order with the lab to make sure that everything is good to go. It confirms that images are there and then it goes and calculates the fees that you're going to be paying to the lab for this item. And we're good to go, it's now been opened. So if I go down here, we can see, okay, great, we've got the lab, it, it's White House, it's being charged in US dollars. Here's the total that you will be billed um, from Sprout on these items. And if I click show more details, you can see that the products themselves, the prints are 218 and the shipping is this right here. So you can see what the options are there from the lab, that's where you're gonna be billed. And if you're good to go with that, then you're gonna go ahead and click pay and submit. And that's gonna go ahead and make that payment and send all the files to the lab for printing. At that point, uh, I'm not gonna do it here because I don't wanna necessarily pay for these right now. Uh, but at that point, what will happen is once the lab receives them and they start working on it, it will mark the in progress status here. And then once they've shipped them, it'll show the order shipped progress here. And then you'll have tracking information to send to your clients and all of that. Now, if you're not happy with this, if you're looking at this and you're saying, yeah, you know what, I need to like, make changes, I'm, I'm not sure, you can always click revise order to go back and edit the order, make changes, so on and so forth. But otherwise, that's how lab fulfillment works here in Sprout Studio. And if I go back over here to my orders list page, you can see here, there's that order, Clive Westbrook, and there's a little lab icon there, that's the lab icon, and it says here that it's opened. You can see what's happening, whereas this one here is set to, to review. So you can see exactly what's happening with all of your orders. And again, this right here is within this shoot. I can also view all of my orders by going to the overview and then the orders and quotes page. And this shows me all of my orders, which just happen to be the same ones because I only have one shoot on this account. But that's how lab orders work within Sprout Studio. That's how lab fulfillment works within Sprout Studio. I uh, hope that that was helpful for you.